All right, and welcome to a review of the Zygo Bone Conduction Headphones for Swimmers. Is this a gimmick or the bees and ease for triathletes and swimmers alike? Let's talk about it. So we are doing a unboxing of the Zygo Solo, and this can be found on shopzygo.com. This is the uh, regular size. There's both a regular and large. So depending on the circumference of your head, you can get a different size. And this has an MSRP of 299 US. Um, so this is a somewhat expensive uh, swim headphone, especially when you compare it to its competitors. Now, how is this different? Well, this is a Bluetooth bone conduction headphone set, which uh, kind of makes it unique compared to the competition. Um, and you know, you know, I've been a triathlete for several years now, and I'm always looking for for something to make swimming more fun, right? Because um, it can be really quiet. You can get in your own head. But uh, I was told with this thing, I could you know stream Spotify from my phone while I swim. And I can listen to podcasts and all my favorite music, you know, playlists, etc. Um, so I'm very excited about reviewing this one. So in the box, uh, you have your Zygo uh, headphone carrying case and a cool mini towel uh, to dry stuff off as you get out of the pool. Um, and in the case, you have all your stuff, your headphones, your Bluetooth transmitter, and some USB cables to charge it up. Let's open this up. So here's what it looks like inside. You have your US, uh, Bluetooth excuse me, transmitter right there. Um, and it just charges when you set it in the case. So the charger is like built into the case. Um, and the USB port to charge everything in the case is right here. Um, and so this is the Bluetooth transmitter. Um, basically you can select songs, change songs, pause. Also has a cool microphone feature. So if you're a swim coach, or you're working with a partner that can talk to you um, from a distance um, as you swim. That's pretty cool. And again, if you want to charge it, just set it in the case here and um, it plugs directly in there. Um, also in the case, you have a little stand for your Bluetooth transmitter so you can take it out, you know, put that at the uh, edge of your lane as you swim. And here's a look at the headphones. Again, these are bone conduction headphones. So they don't look like normal headphones. Um, they're not going to go directly in your ear. Um, they're going to kind of sit directly on your cheekbones. Um, so they're not like traditional earbuds, but to me that's a good thing because I've used those in the past. And you know, when you're swimming with earbuds, water always gets in your ears and they never sound right. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how these sound, you know, when you're swimming underwater. I should note too, there's a volume up and down button on the headphones, um, so you can you know modify the volume while you swim, which is really nice. And uh, this also comes with a micro USB cord, and you can plug that right into the case and charge everything up. So the quick start guide is pretty useful. It shows you how to pair your headphones with the Bluetooth transmitter tells you how to wear these headphones. Again, they don't go in your ear because they are bone conduction headphones. Um, also tells you how to charge it. Um, there's also a Zygo app. I never used it. I just connected via Bluetooth on my iPhone. It was super easy to set up. Um, nothing new there. Um, also comes with just some other useful guides for setup and um, just how to use it in general. Um, so there are some earplugs that come with this set. Um, I do recommend wearing these while you swim. It kind of prevents any noise from coming in your eardrums and really helps you hear the sound a lot better while you swim. One thing I did not like right off the bat with this unit is that the case is kind of bulky. Um, However, my swim bag is, is fairly large, so it's okay for me. But I will say that um, this does take up a lot of room in your in your backpack um, or your swim bag. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So on to the testing in the pool. Um, initial impressions were that these headphones are amazing. It's so cool to be able to listen to music um, and be able to hear it in both ears and not have water get in the way. <laughs> 
Um, you know, with all my old traditional headphones, you know, water always got in the earbuds, uh, they'd fall out, you know, I had to wear a swim cap when I, when I used it. Um, with this one, I don't need a swim cap. Um, I can just put them on my, my ears, above my ears, and, and they work great. Um, overall distance wise, I will say that this is a 25 meter pool. Um, I think this will work great in a 25 yard, 25 meter pool, 50 meter pool. I think you're pushing a limit on the Bluetooth transmitter. I don't think it's going to work in a 50 meter pool for you. It'll cut out and probably cut back in at times. And I will say that when I was diving underwater, you know, maybe five meters and after that it would cut out. So, you know, overall on the strength of distance, it's not the best. But the fact that I was able to stream Spotify was pretty cool. Listen to my podcast. That's just amazing for long distance swims. So in terms of true swim headphones, I think Zygo leads the pack, um, at least from my opinion, based on what I've used. And these are the different models I've used in the past. I really like Zygo. I like the design. Um, performance is really good. You can stream everything, so you don't have to load up MP3s before you work out. I think that's awesome. You can stream podcasts on the fly. Um, the charge is really good. It's about three hours for the headphones, six hours for the transmitter. So really three hours overall. Um, it's very durable. You know, it's not just uh, water resistance. It, it does have an IPX7 rating or higher, so it is waterproof. Um, and I really like it compared to what else is on the market. Um, you don't, you don't need a swim cap to wear it. You just put your earplugs in and you go. It, there is a lot of stuff with the Zygo, right? It has that bulky case. So you have to have the little transmitter at the edge of the pool. Um, but really once you get used to it, you know, setting, setting it up as a breeze. Um, and it's kind of nice to have the phone near the, near the pool too. Um, so you can check your messages and stuff as you work out, check your time. You know, I wear an Apple watch as I work out. So I like to track my heart rate, etc. So overall, um, this is in my opinion, the best swim headphone you can get on the market. The quality of the audio, you know, it is bone conduction. So it's not as good as other headphones, but I think for working out for swimming, just because there's no hassle with it. It's it's something I I'm gonna overlook for this one, but just want to mention that the auto quality isn't as good as others So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Zygo Swim headphones if you found this review useful or have any questions or comments, please place them below I'll put a link to the Zygo website in the description and uh, again, thanks for watching